Welcome to Rising Suns Academy. Introduction Rita's family is eagerly waiting for her uncle to arrive from the USA. He is expected at 5 o'clock in the evening. Rita is growing restless and keeps asking her mother the time every two minutes. Her mother sees an opportunity to teach Rita to read time from the clock. In this lesson, you will learn about time in detail. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Tell time by looking at the clock Distinguish between past the hour and to the hour Use AM and PM correctly Use the 24-hour clock Relate days, weeks, months and year List the properties of a leap year Add two times Subtract one time from another. Telling time. Every clock has two thick needles. They are known as the hands of the clock. The shorter one indicates the hour and is called the hour hand. The longer one indicates the minutes and is called the minute hand. If you look carefully, there are many small divisions between the numbers of the clock. There are five equal divisions between any two numbers. The total number of such equal divisions in the clock is 60. Each division represents a minute. One full circle through the clock covers 60 minutes, that is, one hour. Look at this clock. The hour hand is at four and the minute hand is at 12. So the time is 4 o'clock. Now look at this clock. The hour hand is at 11, and the minute hand is at the sixth divisions from 12. So the time is 11 hours and 6 minutes. Reading time. We just learned that there are 60 minutes in one hour. This means that there are 30 minutes in half an hour. An hour is completed when the minute hand completes one full circle from 12 to 12. When it completes half a circle from 12 to 6, half an hour is completed. When the minute hand is between 12 and 6, the time is read as so many minutes past the hour. For example, suppose the hour hand is at 10 and the minute hand is at 4. Between 12 and 4, there are 20 divisions. This means 20 minutes are completed after 10 o'clock. This time is read as 20 minutes past 10. When the minute hand is between 6 and 12, the time is read as so many minutes to the next hour. For example, suppose the hour hand is at 8 and the minute hand is at 9. Between 9 and 12, there are 15 divisions. This means, after 15 minutes, it will be 9 o'clock. This time is read as 15 minutes to 9. AM and PM Your mother wakes up at 5 o'clock in the morning. You go out to play at 5 o'clock in the evening. It means... The clock strikes five twice in a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. This is true of every hour in the clock from 1 to 12. It is so because there are 24 hours in a day. The hour hand touches each number from 1 to 12 twice in these 24 hours. The 24 hours of the day are divided into two periods of 12 hours each. The first 12-hour period is from 12 midnight to 12 noon. 
AM is used to denote time of this period. The second 12 hour period is from 12 noon to 12 midnight. PM is used to denote time of this period. The 24 hour clock. It is possible to avoid the use of AM and PM by using a 24 hour clock. A 24 hour clock is divided into 24 hours, indicated by the hours from 0 to 23. 12 midnight marks the beginning of a day. It is indicated by 0 hours. 1 o'clock at night is indicated by 1 hours. 11 o'clock in the morning is 11 hours. 12 noon is 12 hours. 1 o'clock in the afternoon is 12 plus 1, that is 13 hours. 5 o'clock in the evening is 12 plus 5, that is 17 hours. 9 o'clock in the night is 12 plus 9, that is 21 hours. As each hour of the day is distinctly numbered from 0 to 23, there is no need to use AM or PM. Addition of hours and minutes. Let us now learn to add two times. Raju completes his science test in 1 hour 15 minutes and his maths test in 1 hour 20 minutes. What is the total time taken by Raju to write the two tests? To calculate the total time, we add the hours together and the minutes together. On adding the hours, we get 2, 1 plus 1 hours. And on adding the minutes, we get 35, 15 plus 20 minutes. So the total time taken by Raju to write the two tests is 2 hours 35 minutes. Subtraction of hours and minutes. Latika completed her English and Hindi homework in 2 hours and 35 minutes. Hindi homework was over in 1 hour 15 minutes. How much time did Latika take to complete her English homework? Subtract time taken for Hindi homework from the total time taken for Hindi and English homework. First, subtract the minutes. 35 minus 15 is 20 minutes. Now subtract the hours. 2 minus 1, that is 1 hour. So Latika took 1 hour and 20 minutes to complete her English homework. Duration of time. The period of time during which anything lasts or exists is called the duration of time. For example, suppose in a school lunch break starts at 11 a.m. and lasts up to 11.30 a.m. Then we can say that the duration of lunch time in the school is 30 minutes. Approximate time. Look at the clock face. Can you tell the time? It is not yet 10.30, but it is very close to 10.30. So, the approximate time is 10.30. Approximate means not exact, but very close to exact. Days, weeks, months. Time is not measured only by hours, minutes and seconds but also in days, weeks and months. There are seven days in a week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. There are 12 months in a year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Relation among days, months and year. Let us understand the relation that exists between days and months. The month April 
June, September, and November have 30 days each. One month is equal to 30 days. The months January, March, May, July, August, October, and December have 31 days each. One month is equal to 31 days. February has 28 days. There are 365 days in a year. There are 12 months in a year. It means 12 months is equal to 365 days. Weeks in a year. Number of days in a week is 7. Number of days in a year is 365. Number of weeks in a year is equal to number of days in a year upon number of days in a week, which is equal to 365 upon 7, which equals 52 weeks. Need for leap year. Earth completes one revolution around the sun in 365 and 1 upon 4 days. But our calendar year has only 365 days. So, 1 upon 4 of a day gets left out every year. In 4 years, the left out 1 upon 4 add up to 1. Hence, every 4 years an extra day is provided in the month of February. Such a year is known as the leap year. February has 29 days in the leap year and the year itself has 366 days. Computation of number of days. Let's solve a problem involving computation of days. Akshat's school announced summer vacation from 25th May 2012 to 5th July 2012. How many days of summer vacation did Akshat get? There are 31 days in May. So 7 days of May from 25th May to 31st May were included in the summer vacation. All the 30 days of June were included in the summer vacation. Five days of July from 1st to 5th were also included in the summer vacation. Now add 7, 30 and 5 to get the total number of days in the summer vacation as 42 days. 42 days. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. A clock has two hands, the hour hand and the minute hand. A full circle around the clock covers 60 minutes or one hour. There are 24 hours in a day. They are divided into two periods called AM and PM. We can avoid the use of AM and PM by using the 24-hour clock. The period of time during which anything lasts or exists is called the duration of time. There are 365 days, that is 52 weeks, that is 12 months in a year. There are 366 days in a leap year. February has 29 days in a leap year. Thank you for watching our video.